Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tomofo here bringing you another Minecraft World War II bathtub build tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going ahead and building the USS Enterprise CV-6. The USS Enterprise was the 7th US Navy vessel to bear the name. It was nicknamed the Big E. She was the 6th aircraft carrier of the United States Navy. She was a Yorktown class carrier and she was launched in 1936 and was one of the only three American carriers commissioned before World War II to survive the war. She participated in more major actions of the war against Japan than any other United States ship. These actions include the attack on Pearl Harbor where uh, dive bombers that she had deployed were actually shot down, uh, losing 11 men at Pearl Harbor, and she was the first uh, to sustain casualties during the Pacific War. The, she was present at the Battle of Midway, the Battle of Eastern Solomons, the Battle of Santa Cruz Islands, various other air sea engagements during the Guadalcanal Canal campaign and the Battle of the Philippine Sea and the Battle of Letty Gulf. So she basically saw all action in major conflicts throughout the, the, the uh, World War II in the Pacific. And the Enterprise earned 20 battle stars, the, the most for any U.S. warship in World War II. It was the most decorated U.S. ship of World War II. She was also the first American ship to sink an enemy warship during the Pacific War when she sank Japanese submarine I-70 on the 10th of December 1941. On three occasions during the Pacific War, the Japanese announced that she had been sunk in battle inspiring her nickname the gray ghost uh so the uh the enterprise is probably my favorite ship from world war ii i think it's a crazy ship so much history with it and so much just uh crazy stuff that went on with it and how it survived the entire war this ship was also present with the uh, doolittle raid which uh, wasn't mentioned uh, what i just read but it was present with the doolittle raid and helped launch uh, those uh, B-25s off the deck to uh, do a little kind of suicide bombing of, uh, you know, uh, J J Japan and all that stuff. So, anyways, uh, overall, really amazing carrier, and this is a redesign for it. We did a design for the Enterprise a very long time ago, and we're revisiting it because it definitely could use an upgrade. Uh, going ahead and taking a look at the ship. It's uh, definitely been completely reconstructed from the ground up. Everything pretty much detail wise, the hull, everything, I, did, I pretty much kept nothing from the old design for it. Um, the main thing you'll notice here is that this one is a lot slimmer compared to the previous one. One of the problems with the previous one is I tried to make it too wide, which uh, ended up making the, the uh, ship look very stubby for uh, the length for it. So it's uh, you know a lot slimmer and it has a you know more of a kind of slim silhouette, silhouette as it should have. Uh, which came out really nice. Uh, we have all, of course, all the AA gun defensive positions on the side of the flight deck. And um, you can see on the side here all the different doors and, um, you know, entryways and stuff like that into the hangar section located underneath the flight deck. Uh, we have all the different, you know, AA gun positions. The skeleton skulls representing more of the 20 mil positions. And then you have some of the 5 inch positions here. And also some of the, I believe, uh, Bofors 40 mils uh, located around as well. Um, the, uh, back here, nothing too fancy for it. Again, some more A positions and just the back, um, pretty simple, nothing too crazy with it. And of course we have the bottom here, the, uh, engines here, and also the, um, rudder there on the back. Uh, on the sides here, again, the air this side is, uh, different, so this build is asymmetrical quite a bit, so, uh, we'll have to, uh, approach a different way of doing this tutorial, but for the first few layers we'll be doing half on half off as it's all the same uh, but this side's completely different from the air side and we also have the island which is off centered of course to the side here uh, so you have the island um, nothing real too fancy about it just a lot of detail a lot of shaping you know, all the spotlights cr the, cr the crane and all kinds of various things like that um, located on the ship so overall really nice design for the uh, cv6 uh, uss enterprise really happy the way it came out hope you guys do enjoy this new redesign uh, we haven't had too many you know carriers and stuff like that this this is pretty much our only bathtub build carrier so it's nice to see another one out there um for you guys to all enjoy so anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer layer one all right guys so going ahead and moving on to our first layer we're going to be going ahead and obviously starting off with layer one so for layer one we're going to start off by using brick slabs and we're going to be going ahead and pretty much creating our center line here as you can see i already have half this built on camera this uh ship here is symmetrical for the first about three layers and then once we start to get into the layers above that, we start to see a lot of asymmetry start to appear. So uh, once we get to that, we'll uh, tackle this uh, different kind of approach. But for now, we're going to go ahead and basically build half on, half off like we do for most of my bathtub builds. Um, so to go ahead and get started here, we need to make sure that we have 
some brick slabs because that's what we're going to be using. And we need to make sure we have this uh, the, the right correct amount underwater. So especially if you're building this thing, you know, underwater, uh, you are going to want to make sure that you have it the right length. So we can go ahead and take pur pur or purple wool here and just kind of think that this right here is the surface of the water. So the brick top slabs are going to basically be one block under the surface of the water. Uh, again, the top of the water will be here and you'll have the... Um, kind of like a full block of water here and the brick tops that are gonna be right underneath it. So make sure it's at that level so that your ship isn't too far out of the water or too far down. Um, but once you have that all cleared up, we can go and get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to take brick top slabs and place a long row of brick all the way back. This is gonna be a row of 41 brick top slabs from the very front bow here all the way to this back stern piece here. So again, that's 41 brick top slabs down this center row. We then wanna go ahead and go back to this section here. We're gonna go uh, whatever direction we want the rear facing so we're gonna have the rear facing that way here we're gonna go ahead and place down a couple placer blocks so a space of two and then we're gonna place down two more brick top slabs going back like so we can then delete those placer blocks and we should have something that looks like this for the for the stern once that's all done we can go ahead and go to the stern piece here we can go ahead and go to the third brick top slab here from the rear we're gonna place down another brick top slab that goes out to the side from it and we're gonna go ahead and build a row a long row of brick top slabs going toward the front so we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 brick top slabs going toward the front. So basically on the, on the front here you should have a row of 7 of brick top slabs sticking out past this um, kind of uh, row right here. Once that's done we can go ahead and go back to the stern here. We can go ahead and go to the brick top set that kind of comes off the side here. So these two on the sides here. We're going to go ahead and count to the uh, ninth brick uh, top step. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and our ninth brick top step. We're going to place down a brick top set that goes out to the side from it. And we're going to build a narrow row of brick top steps on the side here. So we already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen brick top slabs going toward the front and you should get something that looks like this from up above uh you're going to go and take what we did over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side and you'll have a nice kind of design here for the base of the hull there once that's all complete that's going to do it for layer one with that let's go ahead and move on to layer two all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer two layer two is again a layer that's completely symmetrical on both sides we're going to continue to work on the whole section here uh, just a quick note that this level right here should be basically in line with the water level. So at this uh, height right here, you should actually be able to see with the water next to it a little bit of the top of the red uh, stained clay block sticking out a little bit above the water. And that's how you want it to uh, basically look. So make sure that that's correct. Um, but you sh your water level should be at this point right here. Anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go and start off by going to our uh, basically brick top slabs here. So we have this row of seven of brick top slabs at the, at the uh, bow of our ship, the very front. We're going to place down a row of seven of red stain clay on top of those those uh, seven uh, brick top slabs. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the fourth uh, red stain clay block back. We're going to place down a brick top slab coming off the side. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some brick stairs. We're going to place down a brick stair after. That uh, brick top slab followed by a brick upside down corner stair coming off that brick stair like so. On the back of this brick stair here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and 5 red stain clay blocks back. We then want to go ahead and go to this red stain clay block, the side here, the second one from last. So basically the fourth one back, we're going to place down a brick top slab out to the side. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a brick upside down stair. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair coming off this red stain clay block like so. On the back of this stair here, we're going to place down one and two upside down brick stairs, followed by a brick corner stair that comes off of those two brick upside down stairs, just like that. Once that's all done there, we then want to go ahead and uh, continue on by taking our red stain clay. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two red stain clay blocks back. We then want to place down two brick ups and downstairs, going back from those two red stain clay blocks. We're going to go ahead and go to this brick top slab, so kind of an angle here from this brick stair. We're going to place down a red stain clay block on top of that brick top slab, followed by one and two red stain clay blocks back. We then want to place down a red stain clay block here in the middle, 
on this last uh, brick top slab here. So red stinkway block there in the middle. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair, come off the red stinkway block, followed by a second upside down brick stair facing the stair like so. See so something that looks like this. On top of these two brick top slabs here, we're going to place down two red stinkway blocks, followed by a brick top slab coming off the back there like so. We also want to take our, our uh, brick slabs. We're going to place down a brick top slab on this side here, this red stinkway block. Uh, just like that. Uh, once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some end rods and also some uh, sandstone slabs. We're going to place down one and two end rods coming off this brick stair here, followed by a sandstone slab. We're then going to place down an end rod coming off this red stinkway block, followed by a sandstone slab like so. Once that's all done there, that's going to kind of do it for the back, and you're going to go and take that same design we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have uh, your whole, uh, pretty much your underwater portion completely complete. Uh, once that's done, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 3. Alright guys, so we're on to layer 3. So for layer 3, it's again completely symmetrical. This is going to be the last symmetrical layer we have for this build before we start to get into uh, basically, you know, it being asymmetrical. So to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of 5 here of polished andesite. So the first polished andesite block being on top of this uh, red stain clay block here in the front of the bow. We're going to place down 4 back from it, so we have a nice row of 5 like that for the front. We also want to place down a cobblestone wall that comes off this uh, polished dance block here for the front, uh, just like that for the bow. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the third polished dance block back in this row of 5. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall coming off the side of it, followed by 1 and 2 more back like that. Once that's done, we're also going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 polished dance blocks back. We're going to go ahead and go to the 3 polished dance blocks right here. The last three, we're going to place down cobblestone walls along the side of those ones that we did up there in the front. Once that's done, we're going to go back from these cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Polished dance site blocks back. We're then going to place down 1, 2, and 3 cobblestone walls that go back from that. Or actually, my bad. We want to go ahead and place down one more polished dance site block. So this right here in total is going to be 29 blocks. Uh, we're then going to place down three cobblestone walls that go back from this. We're going to go to the inside here, place down one, two, and three polished andesite blocks on the inside of those cobblestone walls. We then want to place down an additional one and two more polished andesite blocks. We have a row of five here. We then want to grab ourselves stone brick stairs. Uh, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off this fourth polished andesite block here. And then a polished, uh, stone brick corner stair coming off that one like so. After that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick corner stair coming off this polished nanosite block here. It's going to, we're going to place down a stair like this, followed by a second stair after this stair, turning into a corner stair, and then we have a stone brick upside down stair there. We then want to go ahead and take our polished nanosite. We're going to place down a row of two in between these. That's going to go basically in the middle here behind these upside down stone brick stairs. And lastly, a stone brick upside down stair on the back here that goes back just like that. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layer 3. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer 4. As I mentioned, once we start to get into these layers, we're going to start to see pretty much our build turn completely asymmetrical. So for this, I have a copy of the ship over on the side there, which what's going to look like at layer 4. We're going to use that to basically work our way uh, through getting layer 4 complete. We're going to do this for the future layers and stuff like that. So to go ahead and get started here, we want to go ahead and start off at the front of our ship. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite block on top of this cobblestone wall. We also want to go ahead and refer back to our previous layer. So layer 3, we're actually going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of this first polished andesite block here that has a cobblestone wall coming off of it, uh, something I forgot to do. So just go ahead and add that now. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our polished andesite and we're going to place down a, uh, we're going to place down a row of 4 back from this middle one right here. So we have a row 5 on the top here. We then want to grab ourselves uh, mossy, or just regular cobblestone walls. We're going to go ahead and go to the second polished dance block back. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four uh, cobblestone walls. So we have a uh, you know, nice row of four there. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side here. So one, two, three, and four. Once that's all done, we're going to take our polished dance We're going to place down a row of five, or sorry, a row of three across. We then want to place down a second row of three across, followed by a third row of three. Once we get to this section here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on both sides of this uh, row of three of polished andesite. We then want to grab our polished andesite, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of polished andesite blocks all the way across. 
followed by a stone brick up and down stair come off this row of five on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to do the same thing again. Another row of five of polished andesite, followed by a stone brick up and down stair on both sides. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick stair on top of this cobblestone wall on both sides like this, followed by a polished andesite block, or row three of polished andesite in between those stone brick stairs. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, gray wool. We want to place down a row of one, two, and three of gray wool along the side here. One, one, two, and three. And in the middle here, we can fill it in with polished andesite. On the sides here of these uh, light or these uh, gray blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down some stone buttons like that along the side there. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite across, followed by a iron bar on both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down a polished andesite block here in the middle, followed by a gray wool block on both sides just like this. When we get to this section here, this is where we're going to start to see the difference on both sides here. So for this, we're going to place down a row of three of polished ASA blocks across. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on the right side here. And over here on the left side, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Now this uh, stone brick stair here, we're going to go ahead and take signs and we're going to put signs on the side of the stair and also on the front of the stair. Like that. Once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a polished ASA block back from the stone brick stair. We're then going to place down one, two, and three polished ASA blocks over to the side. And a iron trap door like that coming off that row for their polished nail set blocks to the right side. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair over here on the right side. Come off this polished nail set block. We also want to place down an iron bar. Come off this polished nail set block right here. Uh, after this uh, stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished nail set blocks over to the side, followed by a cobblestone wall and a sign on the side of the cobblestone wall. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a gray wool block on the left side here with a stone button on the side of it. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three polished dance blocks across, followed by a iron trap door on the right side with a sign on the side of it. Like so. Once that's all done there, we're going to go and place down a row of four polished dance sites. So starting on the left side here, one, two, three, and four, followed by a stone brick up down stair over here on the right side. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one and two of gray wool on the left side here. Followed by one, two, and three polished dance tape blocks coming off these gray wool blocks over to the right side across the middle. And on the right side here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick slabs. And we're going to place down one and two stone brick top slabs. We also want to take stone buttons and place down two stone buttons on these two gray wool blocks. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and place down a stone brick stair coming off this gray wool block like so. Again, one, two, and three polished dance tape blocks to the side and a stone brick top slab on the right side. Continuing on, we're going to place down a polished dance set block back from the stone brick stair, followed by one, two, and three polished dance set blocks over to the side, and there's stone brick top step like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, like so, with a gray wool block right behind the stair. We then want to place down two polished dance set blocks over to the side, followed by a stone brick top step again on the right side. Continuing on, we're going to place down two polished dance set blocks back like this. We then want to place down uh, a row of three going back from these polished dance blocks to the side. So one, two, and three, and one, two, and three across the middle. We're then going to go ahead and go to the right side, place down two stone brick upside down stairs. Once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of gray wool on the left side here. Two stone buns along the side here going back from the gray wool blocks. We're going to place down one, two, and three polished dance blocks to the side. Same thing here, right here. One, two, and three. We then want to go ahead and place down uh, two polished dance blocks over here on the right side like so. Once that's done, again over, again over here on the left side, we're going to place down a polished dance set block. Iron bars coming off that polished dance set block, followed by one, two, three, and four polished dance set blocks after it. So you have a nice row of five that goes across there. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down a cobblestone wall on the left side here, followed by a sign on the side of it. We then want to go ahead and grab our polished dance set blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four over to the side. Continuing now, we're going to place down a gray wool block next to this cobble, or sorry, my bad, it's going to be next to this polished dance block with a stone button coming off the side of it. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three polished dance blocks across to the side there. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and just take our polished dance we're going to place down a row of four across, just like that. Uh, it should be kind of over here to the right side like that. Continuing on, we're going to place down a pol polished dance block come off this one right here, followed by a cobblestone wall coming off the polished dance block. We're then going to place down one and two polished dance blocks. We have a nice row of three across the middle there. 
and a cobblestone ball over here on the right side. Once that's done there, we're going to place down one and two gray wool blocks back, followed by two polished anisette blocks here in the middle, and two gray wool blocks back on this side. We're also going to take stone buttons and place down stone buttons on those, uh, <clears throat> those gray wool blocks like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to, place, to take our polished anisette, we're going to place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides. Once we have that done, we're going to go and take our gray wool, place down a row of three of gray wool. That goes back from those two polished anisite blocks on the on the sides there of that row of three, and a row of three of polished anisite down the middle. And we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz slabs, and we're going to place down three quartz slabs coming off those uh, gray wool blocks, like so. Once that's all done, we're going to place down a row of five of polished anisite across the middle with a iron bar on both sides. We're then going to place down a second row of five all the way across. Again, a polished anisite, stone brick ups down stair on both sides. We're going to go ahead and repeat that step one more time. So stone bricks up down stair both sides and a row of five of polished anisite blocks in between those stairs. Continuing on to the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall on top of those two stone brick up down corner stairs, followed by a row of three of polished anisite in between them. We then want to place down a stone brick up down stair, come off the center polished anisite block, followed by a polished anisite block on both sides of the stone brick up down stair. We're going to place down a stone brick top side, coming off that stone brick up down stair. And then uh, lastly, we just want to grab two end rods and place down end, two end rods on both sides like so. Once you guys have that complete, that's going to do it for layer four. As you can see, a lot going on with that layer and um, definitely uh, very time consuming. But that's how it is with having a difference on both sides here. you got to make sure we get every detail captured as best we can. So it takes a little bit more time, but definitely well worth it in the end. Anyways, that's it for layer uh, four. Let's go ahead and move on to layer five. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 5. Layer 5 is going to be another time consuming layer, and it's probably going to be a little bit longer than the previous layer we just did. Uh, however, uh, once we get done with this layer, it's going to be a smooth sailing from there. We just have to put the flight deck, uh, you know, carpet on, and pretty much just work on our tower, which also be pretty simple. Uh, but this is going to be like the last kind of, I guess, difficult layer with so much going on. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever, place it down on this polished dance site block up here in the front. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab after the lever, followed by a stone brick up down stair on both sides of this top slab. Turn off this up down stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides just like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, end rods and stone brick top slabs. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab in the middle here, followed by an end rod on both sides. Coming off that end rod, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, again out to both sides with a skeleton skull come off those two um, polished anisite blocks or stone brick top steps sorry after we have that done we're going to place down a row of five of stone brick top steps across the middle here followed by again a skeleton skull on both sides like that once we have that done we're going to place down a stone brick top step here in the middle followed by an end rod on both sides a stone brick top step on uh, both sides like this and we're going to go ahead and just leave it at that uh, going ahead and continuing on we're going to place down a polished anisite block here in the middle followed by a stone brick top slab on both sides of that polished anisite block. We're actually going to place down a second stone brick top slab <clears throat> on both sides like that. And then a third one that goes out like that. And then around this third stone brick top slab here, we're going to go and take some signs and wrap it around the top slab like so. So all the way around here, just like that. Once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Place down a polished anisite block here in the middle, followed by an end rod on both sides. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab on both sides of those end rods. Once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished anisite blocks, place down a row of five across. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Come off the, polished dance, the last polished anisite block on the side here, followed by a second stair upside down facing it. And same thing over here on this side, like that. In between these stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of polished anisite across both sides here. We're also going to grab ourselves levers and place down levers on top of those stone brick ups and down stairs on both sides, flicked outwards like that for our, uh, what will be basically representing our uh, five inch um, A guns. Um, after that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves polished anisite. We're going to place down a row of three of polished anisite across the middle here like so. We're then going to place down a stone brick top set on both sides. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And over here on the left side, we're going to place down one more stone brick top set that comes out to the side here, followed by another skeleton skull like that to the side there. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished anisite, place down a row of three down the middle here. 
We're gonna go and grab ourselves gray wool, place down a row of three gray wool on top of the previous row of three. We're gonna go and grab ourselves snow brick top stabs on the right side here to place down one, two, and three. Come off those three gray wool blocks. And along those three snow brick top stabs, we're gonna place down three skeleton skulls. So we have a row of four over here. Uh, once that's done, over here on this side, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row, basically two rows of three here, or basically two rows of um, three rows, of two, however you want to look at it, coming off these uh, three gray wool blocks here. So it comes out to the side like that, and we're gonna place down skeleton skulls again, a row of three along those three um, snowbrick top slabs. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a row of three of polished andesite across the middle here, followed by a stone brick top slab on uh, both sides here, like that. And then on the left side here, of course, we're gonna go and place down one more snowbrick top sub out in a skeleton skull, like so. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and continue on. We're gonna go and place down a uh, upside down stonebrick stair on top of this gray wool block here. So upside down stonebrick stair, stonebrick top sub out to the side, like so. And then we wanna place down a polished andesite block behind that stonebrick stair. We're gonna place down a gray wool block on top of this one right here. And then two stonebrick top subs out to the side, like so. Going ahead and continuing on, we then want to go ahead and uh, start off by placing down a skeleton skull on top of this stone brick stair here. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab, come out this slab right next to it. We then want to go ahead and go to the middle section here, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished ASA blocks across, ball by one and two stone brick top slabs out to the side. And actually, my bad, it's going to be a stone brick upside down stair on top of the cobblestone wall and a stone brick top slab out to the side here, like so, with a uh, iron trap door like that after the stone brick uh, top slab. Once that's done, over here on the left side, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab back, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished dancing blocks across, a stone brick top slab, and a iron trap door to the side there. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a uh, stone brick top slab, again over here on the left side, where they're going to place down one, two, three, and four polished dancing blocks to the side. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, stone brick top slab, and a iron trap door. For our next row, again, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab on this side, a gray wool block, followed by one, two, and three polished dance blocks to the side. We're then going to place down two stone brick top slabs out to the side and a iron trap door, like so. Uh, going ahead and continue on, we're going to place down another stone brick top slab on the left side here, followed by one, two, three, four, um, and five, and six polished ASA blocks to the right side and a iron trap door come out that polished ASA block. Uh, once that's done there, we're gonna go ahead and continue on by placing down uh, two gray wool blocks over here on the left side, followed by two stone brick top slabs. We wanna go ahead and place down two skeleton skulls come off those two stone brick top slabs like so. Uh, we're then gonna take our polished ASA blocks, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, and five, going back from the gray wool block here, same thing right here, like this, and again, we're gonna place down two iron trap doors along the sides there, like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, top slab, which is going to be coming off this one right here, followed by again a skeleton skull on the side there. We then want to place down a upside down stone brick stair on top of this stair so we get something that looks like this. Behind the stair, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished dancing blocks to the side, again a iron trap door like so. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. On, coming off this one right here on the left side, followed by a skeleton skull. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six polished dance blocks to the side and a iron trap door. Uh, for this section here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. Coming off this one again, again in their skeleton skull, like so. We're going to place down an upside down stone brick stair on top of this stair. So we have something that kind of looks like this from the side here. We're going to go ahead and go behind that stone brick stair. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished dance blocks to the side there. Go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab on the left side here. Uh, we can actually go ahead and place down two stone brick top slabs back from each of these top slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six polished dance blocks to the side. Same thing right here one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can also grab ourselves iron trap doors and place down iron trap doors on those three polished dance blocks on the side here. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down two gray wool blocks on top of these two right here. Followed by two stone brick top slabs coming off those gray wool blocks. We also want to grab ourselves skeleton skulls and place down two skeleton skulls off those two stone brick top slabs. We're then going to go and take our polished dance blocks. We're going to place down a row of, uh, from this first one right here, this first gray wool block. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and five to the side, iron trap door. Uh, come off this gray wool block, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four polished dance blocks, followed by a 
cobblestone wall and a iron trap door after that. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to place down a polished nanosite block on top of this one, followed by a stone break up stair, stair, turn off the polished nanosite block. We then want to go ahead and grab our polished nanosite, going back from this block right here to the side, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four, followed by a cobblestone wall out to the side like so. Once that's all done, coming off this uh, stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, followed by a end rod on top of this cobblestone wall. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four polished nano hit blocks to the side. Uh, for our next section here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, coming off this one right here, followed by a second uh, stone brick top slab after that. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves iron bar or skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a skeleton skull uh, coming off this stone brick top slab here. Uh, we then want to place down a gray wool block on top of this one right here, followed by one, two, and three polished nano hit blocks to the side. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab our stone brick top slabs again. We're going to place down a row of two, come off these two right here, followed by a skeleton skull on the side, followed by a row of one, two, and three, and four uh, polished nano hit blocks to the side, and a stone brick upside down stair on after that row of four like that. Uh, once that's all done, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, come off this one right here on the left side like that with the skeleton skull coming off the the uh, stone brick top slab we then want to place down a row of one two or three across the middle here followed by a stone brick stair on the right side like this and a skeleton skull to the side of it go ahead and get you an over to place down a stone brick top slab come off this top slab here a skeleton skull like that we're going to place down one two three and four uh or sorry three polished nanosite blocks across with a stone brick top slab on the left side as well and a skeleton skull like that and actually, we want to go ahead and switch this first polished nanosite block here to a gray wool block. So go ahead and do that on both sides. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to place down another gray wool block. that goes back like this. Polished nanosite block here in the middle to fill it in. Uh, we then can go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab over here on the left side. And a stone brick top slab over here on the right side. The one on the right side is going to have a skeleton skull coming off of it like that. After that's done, we're going to take our polished nanosite. We're going to place down a row of five of polished nanosite across. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of polished nanosite down the middle followed by a row of three of gray wool on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of, uh, or a stone brick upside down stair, come off the polished nanosite and block on both sides, followed by two stone brick top slabs back. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off the upside down stair and a skeleton skull coming off the stone brick top slab. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down another row of five of polished nanosite all the way across. We're then going to place down a lever. On both sides, flick downward to connect up to the iron bars like so. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off this polished downside block. With another stair coming off of it like so, upside down. Same thing over here. Just like that. In between these stone brick upside down stairs, we're going to go and grab ourselves polished downside, place down a row of three in between those stone brick stairs. So once that's done, go ahead and get to you know, we're going to go and place down a row of five of polished downside blocks across, followed by a stone brick slab on both ends of this row of five. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign, place down a sign coming off this stone brick slab on both sides like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down levers, have levers facing toward the outsides here. Um, you can see we're going to do it on that side, but we want to do it on the right side here. Uh, like that on both sides. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. And we want to take item frames and place them down on both sides of this stone brick slab like so. So both sides like that. And like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall here in the middle, followed by a stone brick top slab on both sides of the cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a second stone brick top slab, so we have basically two coming off the cobblestone wall on both sides. And on both sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab here in the middle, come off the cobblestone wall here. After you have that stone brick top slab down, we're going to go ahead and place down a, a end rod on top of these two end rods on both sides here. Followed by a stone brick top slab. Turn off the stone brick top slab on both sides. We then want to place down a uh, stone brick stair. Like this on both sides. Coming off the uh, skeleton skull. And on the side here of the stair. We're going to place down a sign on both sides like that. Once that's all done there. We're going to go and take our stone brick top slabs. We're going to go and place down a row of five across. Of stone brick top slabs. We then want to go and grab ourselves skeleton skulls. Place down one and two skeleton skulls. On the back here one and two. And we also want to place down skeleton skulls on the side here on these two stone brick top slabs. Once that's all done there, that's going to uh, do it for layer uh, five. As I mentioned, it's a bit of a longer layer um, and everything like that. But our next few layers are going to be a lot easier. Once we have that established, we can go and basically build the flight deck 
and pretty much work on the tower from here on out. So with that, that's going to do it for layer 5. Let's go and move on to layer 6. Alright guys, so go ahead and move on to layer 6. For layer 6, we're going to go ahead and start off by working on the tower section. I think it's going to be easier just for us to work on that first. And then go ahead and come back to putting the markings on and all that stuff for the flight deck. So to get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab, which can kind of be over this empty space right here in this kind of corner section. We're going to place down a item frame on both sides of this uh, stone brick slab. We're also going to place down a sign coming off the uh, front of the slab like that for a little bit of a defensive AA position. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, coming off this stone brick slab just like that. With that done, we're going to place down a polished andesite block directly behind the stone brick stair, and we're going to place down a row of polished andesite back. So we have one polished andesite block already. We're going to place down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Once that's all done, over here on the right side, we're going to focus on this first. We're going to place down a gray carpet on top of this uh, iron trap door. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight iron trap doors on the side here. We're going to go and take signs and place down signs along these iron trap doors on the side here so all the way down like so after that's done we're going to grab ourselves some uh gray carpet we're going to place down one and two gray carpets back when we get to this section here we're going to place down two iron bars so we're going to place down one iron bar here and then one out to the side there we're going to place down a stone brick stair come off this iron bar right here on top of the iron trap door and on this stone brick stair we're going to place down signs on the side and also on the front of the stair like that Coming off this iron bar right here, going toward the back, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair like so. Followed by a stone brick slab on top of this cobblestone wall. On the sides here of this uh, stone brick slab, we're going to place down some signs. And on the inside here, uh, we're going to place down a item frame like so. Once that's done, we're going to grab ourselves cobblestone walls. Uh, we want to go and place down a cobblestone wall. That's going to come off this polished anesthetic block right here. We're going to place down a stone brick up down stair facing this direction. Fall by one and two cobblestone walls. Fall by one and two up down stone brick stairs like this. A cobblestone wall. A stone brick up down stair. One and two cobblestone walls. Uh, going to the front just like that. And that's going to kind of do it here for the bridge section for layer six. Um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers. We're going to go ahead and go to the stone brick top slabs here that kind of stick out from the main flight deck. We're going to place down some levers on uh, top of them so we have two in the front there uh, right across from each other and we also have the stone brick top set back here in this section that we're also going to place down a end rod on uh, or sorry a lever on both sides of it like so once we have that done we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some white carpet and we're also going to need to grab ourselves some gray carpet for this we are going to go ahead and start off by placing down a gray carpet on top of this stone brick up sound stair followed by a white carpet on top of the end rod gray carpet white carpet gray carpet white carpet an alternating pattern all the way down so we're going to go ahead and just do this pattern all the way down here. Again, we're alternating between gray and white all the way down. Again, it's, it's a bit tedious here, but it is necessary for us to do to go ahead and create the nice markings and stuff like that on the flight deck. So it's just going to go all the way down here, almost there. Just like this, and you should end with a gray carpet on the end there, just like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go and do the same thing over here to the side. So we're going to go, and go to this stone brick up down stair here on the flight deck, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing back. So once you have that done, you should have basically two alternating kind of stripes that go all the way down. Once that's done, it's basically up for us now to go and fill in all the tops of the stone brick top slabs, the polished anesthetic blocks, all with some gray carpet. Um, so we're going to go and fill in our center line here all the way down the carrier with uh, some gray carpet. And we filled in the previous layer here so that we can put all of our carpet on. So very important that we do fill it in because if we don't, we won't be able to place our carpet. So uh, we're just going to go and take this all the way down here. It's going to cover everything up like that. We're going to go to the sides here as well. And again, gray carpet along the sides here. Basically, any polished anesthetic block, stone brick stair, anything like that, you can put gray wool on. From the top here, you're going to want to go and put uh, gray wool down. 
One thing we also want to do is we want to go ahead and also grab ourselves some actual gray uh, wool blocks. And we actually want to go ahead and switch to go to this section here. We're actually going to swap out this polished neosite block. Uh, this one right here for a gray wool block. And also right here on this cobblestone wall. Just to add a little bit more gray in this section here. And I believe we can actually go ahead and replace this section too. So under the stone brick stairs here, the polished neosite blocks. We're also going to want to go ahead and place down gray wool. Uh, just to kind of keep that color for the flight deck kind of solid and kind of through that section there. So go ahead and make that small change there. Um, anyways, uh, again, we're just going to go ahead and continue with our gray wool here. Filling in this whole row right here. So just like this. Make sure even if you have gray wool blocks, the tops of them, you do place down the uh, gray carpet on top of those gray wool blocks. Because if you don't, you're going to see like you have like a little indent there on in the flight deck and you don't really want that. Uh, so just make sure that you're covering up the gray wool blocks too. And again, a bit of a tedious task, but once we we're done with it, we're done with it. So we have our last row here, these uh, stone brick top slabs on the side here, just like that. And once we have that done, looking at it from above, we have a nice looking flight deck now. It really starts to come together with having that flight deck in place now. And you can really start to see the uh, ship starting to come together. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer 6. Let's go ahead and move on to layer 7. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 7. For layer 7, we're going to be strictly focusing in now on the, uh, basically, uh, island. The tower right here, so, uh, we're pretty much done with the main hall and the flight deck, so it's good for us to go ahead and just start working on this. Anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a lever on top of this, uh, stone brick stair, like so, it's going to be facing toward the front there. We're then going to place down a polished nanosite block behind the lever, and this is going to be a pretty good sized row here, or a couple, uh, polished nanosite blocks after this, so... After this polished dance block, we're going to place down one, two, and three more back. We then want to place down a stone brick up down stair, followed by two polished dance blocks, two up down stone brick stairs, and a polished dance block on the end there like that. Once we have that done, focusing in on the right side first, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this. Sorry, like that. Then we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that after it, and then another corner stair come off this stair right here. So you basically have a corner stair, stair, and corner stair. We're going to go take signs, put on the front of the corner stair, on the side of it and basically put signs around the sides that are wrapping around like that um, once that's all done there uh, we will have a lever that we want to place in the next layer but we can't do that quite yet uh, we also want to grab ourselves a dark oak fence gate coming off this polished dance block right here we're gonna place down a dark oak fence gate like so coming on to our back section here we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of iron bars across like that we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall on top of this stone brick uh, upside on stair come off the cobblestone wall we're going to go and grab ourselves stone brick slabs um, so we're going to place down a stone brick slab coming off the cobblestone wall like that, followed by a top slab. And then we want to place down the end rod coming off the uh, top slab like so. Once that's done on the inside section here, we're going to take cobblestone walls and just place down a row of cobblestone walls along the side here, just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layer seven, pretty simple layer. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to layer eight. All right, moving on to our next layer, we have layer eight. For layer 8, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a light gray stained glass block on top of this polished nanosite block here. We then want to place down a stone brick stair that's going to be on both sides of this light gray stained glass block like so. And also on the light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down an iron frame with a black wool block in it. We also want to go ahead and take signs and we're going to wrap signs around the stair over here to the right side like so. Once that's all done, over here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door on the cobblestone wall followed by a sign on the uh, iron trap door followed by an item frame and a black wool block in the item frame we're going to place down a polished anti block come with the light gray stained glass block followed by a stone brick stair like this to the side with a sign on the side of it so it turns this stair right here into a corner stair after that's done there we're going to place down a polished anti block over here on the left side again an item frame with a black wool block on the side of it uh, we're going to place down a stone brick slab here in the middle followed by a stone brick stair like this out to the side again a um, sign on the front of the stair like so after that's done we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on the left side here followed by a sign on the side of the iron trap door we're going to place down a stone brick stair in the middle if it's back facing toward the rear of the ship and a stone brick slab out to the side with a sign on the side of it we also want to go ahead and go to the bottom of this uh the bottom of this uh, stone brick stair here we're going to place down a lever that's flicked down and facing toward that stone brick corner stair right there. Once that's done, we're going to place down a polished anti block right behind this stone brick stair here, 
followed by a stone brick slab like that to the side. We're going to go and take some signs, place down a sign on the side, and also on this stone brick slab right here. Over here on the other side, we're going to place down a second iron trap door back, and again, a sign while I come off the iron trap door. Um, after that's all done there, we're going to go and place down a uh, polished dance set block, going back like this. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down a stone brick stair with a sign coming off the front of the stair. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically do the same thing again. Polish the inside block, stone brick stair out to the side, or the left side, sign like that. And we also want to grab ourselves a dark oak fence gate, place down a dark oak fence gate on top of this one right here. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a polished the inside block again in the middle. Stone brick upside down stair with a sign coming off the front of the stair. Over here on this uh, side, we have nothing to add, so we're going to leave like that. We're going to place down there a polished the inside block down the middle here. Stone brick stair like this out to the side. Followed by a sign coming off the stone brick stair. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished dance site. We're going to place down a row of two. Kind of going over to the left side like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves iron bars. Place down another row of three. Across the top there like so. We're then going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this cobblestone wall here. Followed by a row of one and two. Stone brick top steps come off the cobblestone wall. And an upside down stone brick stair. Like that for the crane. And once that's all complete there, that's going to do it for layer uh, number... Uh, eight, and with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer nine. All right, guys, move on to layer nine. For layer nine, we're going to start off by placing down an iron trap door on top of this light gray stained glass block. We then want to place down a stone brick stair going back from the iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls, place down skeleton skulls on both sides of this stone brick stair. After that, we're going to place down a polished dance site block, or sorry, cobblestone wall on top of this polished dance site block and this stone brick stair, like that. We also want to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this stone brick stair right here, like so. After that's done, we're going to go and place down a gray carpet on this polished dance site block, followed by a iron trap door on both sides. On this, uh, or basically on the side here of the iron trap doors, and also the side facing the front here, we're going to place down signs wrapping around them, uh, kind of like this, all the way around. Once that's all done, we're going to go and take our polished dance site blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four down the middle here. On the left side, on top of these dark oak fence gates, we're going to place down another dark oak fence gate on top. Stone brick stair on the side here followed by a sign on the side of the stair. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame and a, uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a glass pane. We're going to place down an item frame and glass pane coming off that stone brick stair. After that step, we're going to place down two gray carpets on top of those two polished DSA blocks. We then want to place down the stone brick stair on a, or sorry, a cobblestone wall. So we're going to need some cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this stair right here. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of the upside down stair with a iron frame and glass pane coming off of it. And then we're just going to place down two cobblestone walls coming off those two polished DSA blocks going toward the front. After that's done on the back section here, we're going to go and place down a stone brick stair on top of this iron bar here in the middle. We're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull on both sides of the stair, like so. We then want to place down an iron trap door on top of the cobblestone wall and come off the iron trap door, or the, yeah, the iron trap door, we're going to place down two redstone uh, dust pieces going back and then a redstone appear like that for the end of the crane there once we have that done that's going to do it for layer 9 of the uh, tower we're going to move on to our final layers basically layers 10 11 12 uh, 13 and basically 14 so with that let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers 11 through 14 all right guys so moving on to our last final layers 11 through 14 for these layers we're going to go and get started by going to the stone brick stair up here in the front we're going to place down a uh, wooden trap door that's opened up like this on top of the stone brick stair. Uh, we then want to place down a sign on the back of the uh, wooden trap door, just like that. After that's done there, we're going to place down a end rod on top of these two cobblestone walls like this. And we're also going to place down a end rod on top of this third cobblestone wall back here. Uh, on top here, basically in between these end rods, kind of on top here, kind of going back from the iron trap door, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides of the stone brick stair. Also, on the back of the stone brick stair, we're going to go and place down a stone brick upside down stair, and we're going to place down signs wrapped around this stone brick upside down stair. On the front of the stair, we're going to place down a sign. We also want to go and grab ourselves an item frame, place down an item frame on the front of the stair, and a black hole block like that. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull on top of this stone brick stair right here. We're going to place down an end rod on top of this uh, stone brick upside down stair. We then want to place down a placer block on top of the end rod and coming off the block toward the front, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. We then want to delete this block, place down an end rod in its place, and then we're going to place down an end rod coming off this end rod out to both sides like that. Lastly, on top here, we're just going to place down a uh, iron trap door 
on top just like that. And that's going to do it for kind of like our main mass right there. Once that's done, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick stair that's going to be on top of this cobblestone wall right here. We're going to place down a item frame come off the front of the stair. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a glass block and we're going to place down a glass block as well that comes off the or that's in the item frame and we're going to place down a sign on the side of the stair. Uh, behind the stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite block and over here on this side again a stone brick stair with a uh, item frame in it and, or on it and a glass block and a sign to the side here like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to take our polished andesite, place down a row of one, two, and three down the middle here. We want to go ahead and go to the basically the left side here and place down three cobblestone walls along the side. Over here on the left side, it's a bit different. We're going to place down a lever on this second polished andesite block. And on top of the lever, we're going to place down an end rod like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some gray carpet and also some black carpet. We're going to place down one, two, and three gray carpet on top of those polished andesite blocks there and a gray carpet like so. On the back section here, we're going to place down a lever, followed by an end rod on top of the lever, where they're going to place down a placeholder block, like this. On top of the placeholder block, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, like so. And then on top of the, uh, we're going to delete the placeholder block and then place down an end rod, like that for the back there. Last thing for us to do is just to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door, and on top of the stone brick stair to place down a wooden trap door, open it up like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for my design, new design for the uh, World War II uh, USS Enterprise CV-6 Yorktown class carrier. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are uh, able to put it to good use. It's definitely a nice redesign uh, compared to the last one. So hope you guys really do enjoy this new design for the Enterprise. Um, if you guys do have used this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This video thing from a sign of the build, tweak to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 before, and I'll see you guys next time.